one or two fog patches around on Saturday morning and we start the weekend with a frost in places as well. Overall, though, a dry weekend for the majority thanks to high pressure. It's dominating our weather, but from a distance down to the southwest and it's allowing at times weather fronts just to topple in. This one bringing some cloud and rain through Friday night and Saturday morning. That one will steadily clear away as it fizzles out, but we kind of have a repeat performance on Sunday with another set of weather fronts drifting in. These ones will have a bit more about them, a bit more in the way of wet weather, and as the isobars pinch together, going to turn windy on Sunday as well, particularly across parts of Scotland. Get there in just a moment. However, let's come back to this first weather front trickling its way southwards, bringing some outbreaks of rain across northwestern areas. But as it sinks southwards, bumping up against that high pressure, it kind of fizzles out. Just a dampening of the ground really for Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland through the early hours. Behind that, the skies will start to clear. And ahead of that weather front, clearer skies where we see them will allow a frost and some thick fog patches to form for Saturday morning. Temperatures dropping down to minus one, minus two, even in towns and cities where it stays clear. We could drop down to minus five or minus six in rural spots. Not quite as frosty further north because we'll have more cloud and that weather front still providing a little bit of light rain and drizzle over the far north of England on Saturday morning. That'll continue to drift southwards. We may then see a little bit of light rain and drizzle here and there on the north coast of Wales, parts of northwest England during the afternoon. A few showers just moving through across the Northern Isles and the Western Isles, but most places dry. Brighter skies developing for Scotland and Northern Ireland, some decent spells of sunshine. In the south, that fog could be slow to clear. Uh, and it might just brighten up here and there with a hint of sunshine, perhaps across the southeast. But generally a lot of cloud in the south and making it feel quite cold, I suspect, with temperatures only six or seven Celsius. Might get up to eight or nine across parts of the west. Saturday evening, dry for the vast majority. Again, the old spot of drizzle here and there, still over northwest England, around the coasts of Wales. Start to see a bit more rain just pushing in again across the Northern Isles and the highlands of Scotland as the winds start to pick up. That's that next weather system approaching, bringing wet and increasingly windy weather across the northwest. A bit of drizzle further south here and there, but most places dry. Again, quite a bit of cloud around, but we may see some breaks developing in the cloud here and there. It will be turning windier through the day on Sunday and by the afternoon that rain will have pushed through the central belt and into parts of Northern Ireland as well. And the wind's really started to pick up in the northwest, getting very blustery here later on Sunday. It will be a milder day though, temperatures 9, 10, maybe 11 degrees Celsius in a few places, but obviously a couple of degrees higher temperature wise, but the winds will be that much stronger on Sunday, perhaps counteracting that. That weather front will continue to push southwards as we go through Sunday night and into a Monday, but most places looking dry on Monday. Uh, for more information on that, make sure you stay up to date through the weekend by following us across social media.